All right, so the next step will be to do the regulation. So we want to monitor the voltage output of the uh, of the system here and feed that back around and then either enable or disable or change the bandwidth or the, the pulse width or change the frequency of modulation or change something over here in order to make it regulate. Okay, and so we're going to need a uh, comparator over here, right? We're going to we need a comparator. So, um, so this is what I this is what I came up with here. Uh, we're going to use a comparator, and we're going to use it a, a ground ground to VCC reg, uh, op amp. So you can't uh, you need to be able to choose the op amp uh, wisely. Okay, and so I've chosen a um, a TLC uh, two seventy two. And the TLCs are, are guaranteed to work down to ground, and so uh, I've got a video on that. Look, look it up. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's going on and off the right direction. So we want to enable pulsing if the voltage is too low, and we want to disable pulsing if the voltage is too high. So uh, I've connected a little circuit over here. And so we have a, uh, an N channel FET and an LED hooked to VCC. And so if uh, you have a high voltage here, this will turn on and you'll get the LED lit up. So we want a high voltage here uh, to turn it on. And so how do, how do comparators work? Well, if the positive side is bigger than the negative side, this will be high. And if the negative side is bigger than the positive side, this will be low. Okay, okay. so I'm going to create a voltage reference here. In a real device, you're going to want to use a stable voltage here, some type of uh, Zener diode, something that's not going to change with incoming uh, voltage. But for just uh, for educational purposes, I've just uh, made it a resistive divider. So if we have a 10 volt supply, then this is going to be a 5 volt reference, okay? So if uh, uh, the uh, negative is bigger, um, let's see here, which one is bigger? So if the positive one is bigger, then this will be high, and if the negative one is bigger, this will be low. And so if we put in ground, then ground will be uh, zero volts, and this one's bigger, so this will be high, and then this will be on, and this will be on. And so let's take a look at our circuit. Uh, I have ground coming in here. So I have zero volts coming in. That means I have high here, which means this is on and the LED is on. When I move uh, this to 10 volts, that means that it's bigger, which means this is low. And this means this is off and the LED is off, okay? So that's how that's going to work, okay? Sorry if that was a bit confusing. But. All right, so now we have a comparator and uh, it swings around five volts, okay? And so we want it to actually, let's say we want to regulate at uh, 15 volts, okay? Well, we need to take our 15 volt, uh, and we need to put it in a resistor divider, okay? So let's say we want to regulate to 15 volts. We want to choose these resistors such that we get five volts out, right? So we need, we need to uh, have a one-third, we need to have a, uh, a, a, a two and a one, right? So that will give us one-third and uh, so we can have this 10K, we can have this 20K, and we should be able to get five volts out here, and then we'll run that into here, and this thing should operate then regulating to 15 volts. Now, uh, it's kind of interesting, right? We have a 10 volt supply on this part of the circuit, but we're able to measure higher voltages because we're using this resistor divider. Let's hook that up. Okay, so instead of using a uh, two resistors, I'm going to use a potentiometer so we can vary it. So whatever the incoming voltage is, I'll be able to adjust this so that I get five volts coming out of here, and we'll be able to see that switch. So just as a test, uh, I'm going to put in my 10 volts and adjust the uh, potentiometer to about mid-range, and that should be where it turns on and off. 
and if we go that direction it turns off, we go that direction it turns on, and so you can see about when I'm about half scale, that's about where it's turning on and off. So this is gonna this is gonna work just fine. This is I think a 10k, a 10k pot. Maybe it's a 100k pot. Doesn't doesn't matter what its value is. Uh, it's working just fine. So we will put in 15 and then adjust it down to five volts, and uh, that should work out great. Okay, so here's our final uh, final schematic. We have our inductor, our diode, and our capacitor. Uh, we're going to uh, pulse modulate it. We're going to use two uh, FETs in an AND configuration, so they both have to be on in order to pull that down. So the 555 is going to be toggling, and it's going to be uh, charging this. We're going to monitor the voltage. We're going to bring out some percentage of that over here, and we're going to compare that to a reference voltage. And then depending on that reference voltage, we're either going to turn this on or turn this off. So uh, uh, these have to work in combination for it to turn on. I think you can figure that out. So uh, we can adjust this, and we should see the uh, uh, voltage change here. And it should stay stable. It shouldn't keep going up. So let's take a look. Uh, here's all of our circuit. And here is our, here's our voltage, OK? So remember, I'm going to disconnect the, uh, the pulsing, and it should come down to around 10 volts, right? This is 10, 20, 30, remember? So, uh, so here, it's, uh, it's, a little, it's a little bit lower than 10 volts e even. We can bump that up a bit so we can get an idea of how much we're going to get out. So there we go. We're getting 10 volts out with no pulsing. Uh, this is the entire circuit, right? So now we're going to add, uh, connect the uh, transistors, and that will start to uh, uh, do the boost conversion. And here, the boost conversion is coming up. And it decided to stop there, all right? So let's, uh, let's back out a bit. And let me adjust the uh, potentiometer here. And let me adjust it. Let me adjust it down. Oh, that's up. Let's go down. Let's say we want to regulate to 15 volts. So I'm going to, well, my resistors here are kind of fighting me. So let's say we want to regulate to, to 18 volts. 18 volts is right there, OK? So there we go. Um, we can adjust it to anything we want by using that resistor divider on the output. We can come up. Uh, let's see, how far can we go up? I don't have much range on my, on my, uh, on my uh, system here. Oh, 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 oh. I want to regulate to 20 volts. There we go, there we go. There we go, we're regulating to 20 volts. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I hope, uh, I hope people have a, have a much better understanding of these uh, DC to DC converters or uh, uh, switch mode power supplies uh, all operate around the same thing. Um, your, uh, whacking the inductor to, to build up a internal uh, magnetic field. And when you let that magnetic field go, go it uh, has to release its magnetic energy into electrical energy. And it, it uh, sends, it, sends it through the diode, it charges this up. And we can just continue to whack that on and off. And if we want to regulate that somehow, we can uh, uh, do that with some type of feedback loop. And we can do it in this fashion, which is just easiest for me to prototype and to kind of get you uh, uh, with the idea of this is what's going on. Most of the time, this voltage comes around and regulates the pulse width modulation of the, of the, uh, of the, of the clock here. Um, but I just thought this would be a much more interesting uh, circuit for educational purposes and uh, seems to work fine.